name is Evan Untai, guide from Deschutes Angler Fly Shop, and today I want to show you a super slick knot for tying with very, very fine tippet materials. The knot is called the 1620 knot. Uh, it's much better to use than a traditional uh, clinch knot. Traditional clinch knots, when under tension, have a tendency to cinch down on themselves. In repeated tension, the, the knot will actually cut itself free. Uh, so with very fine materials, 6 and 7x tippet materials, you're gonna find that the clinch knot's only good for two, three, four fish or a couple hangups on the bottom before it breaks. 1620 knot is a slip knot, so we're never gonna pull directly on that knot itself, which means that the tippet material is 100%. This will give you really good strength with six and seven X material on even the largest fish. All right, it's time to tie the 1620 knot. When you're threading your tippet material through the eye of the hook, it doesn't matter whether you go up or down through the eye. In this case, I'm using a jig hook, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, the knot will come out the same. What is really important is to make sure that you have plenty of tag material to work with. Uh, pull out plenty of tag. The more tag you have, the easier this knot's gonna be able to tie, and it doesn't ultimately have any effect on how much tippet material you end up using. The first thing I'm gonna do is pinch the fly in my left hand, like so. Then I'm going to take this tag end and I'm going to fold it back towards the fly and pinch it between my index and thumb right there. I've created this nice loop right here. Now I'm going to take the apex of the loop and pinch it against the leader material right there. At this point, all I need to do is hold onto the tag in that loop so I can go ahead and drop the fly. Fly is dangling there nicely. Now I'm going to flip the fly around the tag end at least three times. More is fine, but at minimum three. And you can just use the weight of the fly to get that to go around like so. Now here's the tricky part is making this transfer with the tag. You have to be get the tag going back up towards that loop and there's my loop. I'm going to feed the tag through the loop, pinch the tag, and then just gently cinch the knot up. You don't want to cinch all the way but just nice you know where it's half tight. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the leader and pull the leader so that the knot slides right down to the eye of the hook and boom, there is your 1620 knot. It's a very easy knot. The more you do it, you're gonna realize that it's a very efficient knot and uh, it'll be the one that you're gonna rely on for most of your trout fishing needs. If you like what you saw in this video, we'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this video.